Hey y'all, I'm Rylan. Welcome to my channel. It is January 1st, 2023. I don't know how it's already the new year, but it is, which means that the romance book club that Stasia, my bestie, I mentioned her in like every video, the book club that she and I started up uh, is officially a go as of today. So in case you missed my announcement video, I'll tag it above and in my description down below. But we decided that we wanted to start a romance focused book club. We love the genre alongside thrillers and we wanted to highlight, highlight, yeah, those stories that I feel like and she feels like as well often get bashed because it's romance and people like to hate on it. So we started a book club where every month we will be reading something in the genre. We do want to eventually we do want to focus on indie authors and books that are on Kindle Unlimited just because we feel like those are more accessible than some books that aren't on KU. But so far, we haven't, we, we had plans to pick KU books, but then books are getting taken off Kindle Unlimited because they're getting picked up by publishers, but we've already announced like some of the picks. So for the first three months of the year, our books are not on KU, but hopefully after that, we will have books that are easily accessible because they're on Kindle Unlimited. Anyway, none of that matters quite yet. <laughs> but this month we are reading the, I don't know what the actual name of the series is. It could just be the Priest series. But we are reading this series by Sierra Simone. It is a three book series, not super long. This is just the first book. I went to Books a Million a little bit ago to pick up this new cover that came out with Bloom. Yeah, so we're reading this series this month as well as the novella and I decided, and Stasia as well, that we want to vlog all of our monthly picks. So this is me starting my reading vlog for this series. I will be reading it throughout the month. I don't plan to binge it. I only have the first book currently. I do have the novella on my Kindle, which I'll just read from there. But I did order the second two books from Amazon. There was a deal going on, so I grabbed those last night and I decided to go in person to pick up Priest today. That way I could start it right away. And yeah, I do plan to annotate this one. I've already read it. I read it in 2021. I believe I want to say October or November of 2021. So this will be a reread for me. I haven't read the other two books in the series. So hopefully those are great. I don't doubt that they will be. I loved the first book and I'm excited to reread it with a bunch of friends in our Discord and annotate it and then continue the series. If you want to join us, I guess by the time that this vlog comes out, we'll probably have already finished with this series. But if you want to join us for future picks, I'll have the description down below. We also have an Instagram that Stasia runs because I am at my max account limit like my, my max number of accounts that I can have on my phone currently because I do social media for some nonprofits and things like that but anyway not the point so she runs that Instagram and is always posting updates and will be pretty active over there as well as in our discord so feel free to join us for future picks I'll share the next two at the end of this video I think if you want to skip ahead and just go ahead and find out early I'll update y'all when I get to the 50% mark as well as the end of each book that tends to be how I do my vlogs unless I'm just doing one book for a vlog and then maybe I'll do 25% every once in a while. But for a vlog that has three books plus a novella, I will go ahead and update y'all at every 50% mark. So hoping to start this one today. If not today, then definitely tomorrow. And I'll update y'all whenever I get to the 50% mark. Y'all, this book, I, ugh, I always scratch myself with my books when I'm talking and waving them around. This book is so, so, so good. This is a reread for me. I don't know if I said that in my intro. I read this book for the first time in 2021. So, and I loved it. Gave it five stars the first time. And rereading about Tyler Bell is so good. I already have so many tabs in this book. We love to see it. I'm obsessed with these new tabs that I started using. The colors are just so much lighter than the older ones that I had been using. And so I think I might stick with these ones from now on. I've got my key started. I need to write what each tab means for future reference uh, when these ones run out and I change colors, but I'm obsessed. I am truly, truly obsessed. So Priest is the first in the Priest series. And this one is about Tyler who has been a priest for three years. This stems from trauma 
and his family something really terrible happened with one of his siblings a few years back and this was kind of like something that he felt that he needed to do to bring justice and to open up the church that he works at um into like changing and things like that so he's been a priest for three years he's been slowly like building up his church and becoming a part of the community that he lives in and when this new girl who's new in town named poppy she comes to confession to the confessional one day he is immediately like in love with her basically so he breaks his vows as a priest and there's a lot of tension and angst between poppy and tyler but there's also a lot of fighting between tyler and catholicism and what the rules say that he can and cannot do but what he feels is right and what he feels was always meant to happen between him and Poppy. And it's it's so good. I think that Sierra Simone does a really good job with religion in this book. Because obviously it's about a priest. There's going to be that in this book. I think she does a very good job writing about that with such a taboo or like forbidden romance. And I just, uh, I love it. I love Tyler. I love Poppy. Their chemistry is off the charts. His family's story, his sister's story specifically is so heartbreaking trigger warning 100% for uh I'm just going to read the front page that says the the content warnings this book contains mentions of systemic sex abuse and a sister's death by suicide so those are two very big content warnings for this book if you are interested in reading it I will have them listed down below as well uh, but it is in the front of the book which we love love to see as well as like the author's background growing up in uh, as a catholic and like her approach to this book because of that. So really enjoying it so far. I reached the 50% mark at like 1230 last night or this morning, however you wanna, yeah, whatever you wanna consider that as. Um, and I'm hoping to finish it in the next couple of days. My goal on my to-do list for today is to get to 75%. It's not a super long book, so I'm not worried about it. I have been reading it pretty quickly. I just had to get into it again first. So that's the plan. I'll update y'all again once I finish the book. And then we'll move on to probably Midnight Mass because it's the novella that follows Tyler and Poppy later after they get married. And yeah, then we'll go from there. So I'll talk to you all later. <laughs> so I finished Priest last night and naturally gave it five stars. The first time I read this book in 2021, I was distraught by the end of it, but also like my heart was put back together. It was the same way the second time that I read this book, I definitely got emotional multiple times throughout this book. I did have some tears stream down my face very quietly. It was not super dramatic, but there was definitely big emotions going on during this book. You can see all the tabs that I ended up having in it. There are quite a few. I love the colors of these tabs. I think I said that in my last clip, but I'm loving the colors. So five stars. I really love the way that Sierra Simone writes her characters. I thought that Tyler was such a vulnerable and raw character. And I 100% related to a lot of his struggles and personal thoughts, especially when it came to both him and Poppy, really, when it came to what they had grown up or like what they had been told was right or like the good thing versus what they felt like so deep within their hearts so five stars for this one loved it so excited to read the novella that follows tyler and poppy i think it's like three years later they're married in the novella but their life is not perfect uh so i want to read that one midnight mass plan to binge it all today. It's a novella. I'm not going to update y'all at 50%. It's not really long enough, I feel like, for there to be a point in doing that. And I also don't want to spoil parts of Priest by talking super in-depth about, so I'll probably just update y'all tomorrow or whenever I finish the book. And then I'll move on to the next brother. I don't know which brother's next, either Sean or Aiden Bell, but we're gonna move on to their story after. And I'm very excited because the only books that I have read in the series are Priest and the novella. So Sinner and Saint, or yeah, Sinner and Saint will both be new to me. So short vlog updates, but I did finish this book. I loved it. I have a full review of it up on my Goodreads and my story graph. If you wanna check that out, I will have as I think I might have already said in this video, content warnings for the book down below in my description. And yeah, that's all for this update, but I'll talk to you all later. I finished reading Midnight Mass 
a couple of hours ago. The first time that I read this book, I gave it five stars. The second time, this time, I ended up giving it 3.75 slash four stars. For some reason, it just didn't... I cried during the ending, don't get me wrong. But like a lot of the book, I was mostly just bored and I don't know if that's because I'd already read it or if I just wasn't interested in it at this point, but I was pretty bored. So I was kind of sad that I didn't love it as much as the first time that I read it, but I still love Poppy and Tyler and their story is great and they definitely grew a lot as a couple, although it still felt like Tyler at least went three steps forward in Priest and two steps backwards in Midnight Mass with his inner thoughts and insecurities and struggles, which was kind of frustrating to see for me. So didn't love it as much, but I do still really like the couple and their story is really great. And I am sad to see that their book or like their story is over. Although I'm pretty sure we will get glimpses of them in Sinner and Saint. My copies of those two books are coming today. I will hopefully post a video of me like unboxing them like as a little montage clip thing right here with music after this clip but um i probably won't come back here until i'm 50 percent of the way through sinner which i believe is the second one this follows aiden's older i don't know what you mean this follows aiden's older brother sean i believe i'll let y'all know when i'm 50 percent of the way through it and i'll give y'all a better synopsis and share my thoughts. This is my first time reading the second and third books, so I have no idea what to expect, but one of my friends, Elle, has already flown through the second book and loved it, so I have really, really, really high hopes that it might even be better than Priest. So we shall see. I'll talk to y'all later whenever I get to 50% through the second book. All right, y'all, this is my first ever vlog clip or video using my new camera, but I got a new camera. I have been using my phone ever since I started my YouTube channel and finally took the plunge and got a camera and here I am. I'm loving it so far, but that was just a random side note. The quality, the jump will be pretty evident, I'm assuming, between my phone and my camera. But I'm here today after like two weeks with a vlog update for the Priest series by Sierra Simone. I just reached pretty much the halfway point in Sinner last night. Yay. This one is quite a bit longer than Priest was. I'm pretty sure it's like 60 pages longer than the first book, which is totally fine. But between work and getting back into school, I have been a little bit slower on this vlog. But I'm now at 50%, so let's chat about the book. Sinner follows Sean, who is the oldest Bell brother. He is a businessman. He is a playboy. He is very much self-centered. He has no religious belief whatsoever, even though his family grew up Catholic. After what happened to his sister happened, he completely walked away and no longer believes in anything. However, his best friend's little sister is about to take her vows and become a nun or she's she's on her way to becoming a nun she has to be like an intern first i don't remember what the name for that is but she's almost a nun and she has a month left before she has to take that next step and so she asks sean to show her the ways of the world 
and give her some experience, that kind of experience, uh, before she has to take her vow or take the next step or whatever in a month. Sean is very hesitant about it because one, it's his best friend's little sister. There is an age gap of about 15 years between these two. Sean is 36 and Zenny, who is our main or our main female character, is 21. And he's very hesitant, but of course in the end they go along with it and he is educating her. So, that's this one so far. I think I might be enjoying this one more than I enjoyed Priest. And I really love Priest. I love Tyler Bell. But Sean is something else and Zenny is amazing so far. Not that Poppy from Priest isn't. But, I don't know, I'm kind of vibing with the, the tropes in this one. The plot of this one even more than I did with Priest. It is a little bit more of a slow burn. Not super slow burn. I mean, it's Sierra Simone. We were getting some spice not super far into the book about 120 some pages in i think but um yeah i'm really really liking it my goal is to finish this book today i am doing live sprints with stasia in i think like two and a half hours two and a half hours yeah so hopefully i can finish this one before or not before but during sprints before the day is done because i do need to move into priest dinner saint before the end of the month which is quickly approaching. So that is my update for Sinner. I am loving it so far. Cannot wait to see what happens and excited to continue with this series. And I'm also excited to do more vlog updates with my new camera. So as soon as I finish this book, hopefully today, I'll hop back in here and update y'all. And then I'll try to move on to the next book tomorrow because I finished all my school for like before Monday when my class starts and I didn't have homework, unfortunately. And I have no plans, so I plan to just read read all weekend so i'll talk to y'all later and we'll chat some more about this book the tears were real with sinner i just finished it an hour ago or so and my heart is still hurting but it is also in the process of mending back together i really 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 loved priest which is the first book in the series I think I liked Sinner more. I gave this book five stars just like I did with Priest and I do believe that Sean Bell might be my new favorite Bell brother. He had such a big heart and went through so much growth during this book, so much so that he was willing to let Zenny go uh, for the sake of her beliefs um, and what she felt that she needed to do um, and becoming a nun. And in the end, everything worked out okay because this is a romance and it has a happy ending. I will say that this book very much has a content warning for cancer and death. I lost it. I really did. This book broke my heart and put it back together and I had so much fun with it. I love this book. It was a beautiful story about two broken people just trying to make their way in the world and finding each other in the process and going through so much change and growth in their personal lives um, and with each other. Love this book. Loved this book. So many tabs. I don't know if my camera... Oh yeah, it's focusing. So many tabs. So pretty. Yeah. This book. Chef's Kiss. So, now that I'm done with this book, I'm immediately going to be jumping in to saint there are four brothers in this family the bell family but this book is about aiden and i think that after this there will never be a story about the fourth brother at least not that i've heard of which makes me kind of sad but the younger brother is not in the story a ton to begin with not as much as the other three brothers are so maybe it's okay i don't know but this one is about aiden he is becoming a monk i believe Stasia told me that this book, Saint, takes place six years after Sinner and Aiden is a monk and he has had like a fling in the past or maybe even a relationship. I don't know all the details because it's not super fleshed out in this book. But he has had some type of relationship with Elijah who is Sean's best friend and Zenny's older brother from this book. And I don't know what happens but he becomes a monk and him and Elijah somehow get reconnected because this is the story between them and no idea what else to expect but I'm excited. I'm hoping that I can binge this book by tomorrow night before school starts that way I can get this vlog done and uploaded and it'll be so much fun and our first January or in our first book club picks for 2023 will be completed from me at least. So I'm going to update y'all when I get to 50%. 
we'll share a synopsis and I'll tell y'all how I'm feeling about this, how I feel about it compared to Priest and Sinner, and what I'm hoping to get from it by the end of the book. Okay, I feel like this lighting is still pretty rough, but compared to last night's update, it's better, so it's fine. But I have basically done nothing today except for reading Saints, and I just, like a minute ago, got to the 50% mark, and I needed to do an update because I want to finish this book. If not tonight, then by tomorrow before class. Um, yeah, that is my goal. That's what we're striving for. I just reached 50%. And this book is probably like hurting me more than the other two books combined. And Sinner, which is the book that I just finished last night, is very sad in terms of the outside family, like outside of Sean, um, like his mother, especially with cancer. But this one, is very much about depression and suicidal ideation uh, that Aiden struggles with and how that like leads to him feeling like he needs to become a monk and how becoming a monk saves him from um, ending his own life and there's not a ton of like details about that night yet but there are like hints that something happened that led him immediately to like seeking becoming a monk we're getting there though it's gonna get hard like I know that I'm going to hurt Sierra did mention I think chapter 47 is basically where it's all described and that that chapter can be skipped if it needs to be but um it is kind of mentioned like throughout the book as well so there's definitely something going on with that and it's going to become more prominent as we keep going through the book so this book is about Aiden who four or five years ago ended up at this monastery after um, almost ending his own life. Again, I don't know the details yet, but he's been at this monastery. He is a monk and his ex-boyfriend Elijah shows up one day to one kind of get closure, but then he comes back because he's a writer for this very popular like men's magazine and he's doing an article about the, brew the breweries. Breweries, yeah, that monks, I don't know, I guess often have at their monasteries and they get a lot of visitors for those breweries that they have. I don't like how the B and the R go together. It sounds weird. Um, yeah, so he's there to write an article, but Aiden, who is now known as, oh gosh, Brother, oh, I don't remember what his name is, um, Brother Patrick, yes, yes, Brother Patrick is his like monk name, is his host. So he is the one tasked with showing Elijah around, and they're basically forced into like being with each other because Aiden brother Patrick is hosting Elijah while he's at the monastery he's staying there for a week whatever where I am currently they are outside of the US they are I believe in Belgium right now but Aiden is traveling to all these different monasteries to get a sense of if he wants to become a different type of monk because there are like different not factions but like different like groups I guess that like have different ways of living and so Aiden believes that he needs to go to one of these like stricter ones I guess that's not the right word but maybe like more rigorous ones because he doesn't think that he's doing a good enough job where he is right now and then Aiden is or not Aiden and then Elijah is with him to continue writing his article about monks and bre breweries I hate that word so much but it's in here all the time um, so yeah, that's basically what this one is about. This one is very slow burn compared to Priest and even more so compared to Sinner. But that's okay. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really liking watching Aiden and Elijah reconnect and be forced together kind of, but not really. Um, but they are very much in close proximity and I don't know. I really enjoy Aiden's inner thoughts. I He's so real and raw and vulnerable to me and I love that. I, I'm connecting with some of those parts of him and it's so beautiful and it's heartbreaking and I know that I'm going to cry at some point during this book like I did with Sinner and I'm pretty sure like I did with Priest and Midnight Mass so we're just a mess all around but I think this one is going to end up very beautiful I will say that currently Elijah is engaged to somebody else so there's that he's also five years older than Aiden which is kind of not it's not really an age gap but it's older like Aiden's older brother's best friend so you kind of have that going on as well and there's just oh, so much happening Aiden and Elijah did have a relationship 
leading up to the night that Aiden came to this monastery um, after having his suicidal thoughts. Again, don't know all the details, but soon I will. Not that I'm going to spoil it because this is going to be a non-spoiler reading vlog, but that does happen. Uh, they do have a past and I don't know, I'm excited to see where their story goes. They're both such deep characters, I believe. Um, even though we don't really get a ton from Elijah's POV, I can just tell from how him and Aiden interact that there's so much to him as well. And it's just, it's beautiful. I love it. I cannot wait to keep reading this one. I'm going to go back to reading as soon as I'm done talking here. And hopefully I can finish it tomorrow morning or early afternoon at the very latest and then wrap up this reading vlog. If I didn't say this at the beginning of this vlog after I finished Priest, I did mention it in my written review on Goodreads, but I think Sierra Simone does a fabulous job intertwining religion and faith with like the realness or like the 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 vulnerability that a lot of people of faith go through, I feel like. Like this isn't like disrespectful to religion is what I'm trying to say, I guess. I think Sierra does a really good job writing about religion um, in like the sense of a taboo romance. I think it's very well done um, and I really like her exploration of these topics in her books. So that's all that I have for this update. I'm excited to finish it. I'm scared. I'm so scared, but I think it's going to be really good. And hopefully I can update you all tomorrow with my final thoughts, my final rating, and then I can wrap up this very first reading vlog for the Mending Hearts book club. So exciting. I can't wait. This is a good one. This series is a good one. And I, yeah, I'm in love. So I'll hopefully talk to you all tomorrow afternoon. If not, at some point this week when I do finish the book, we'll chat, wrap up this vlog, and it's going to be a great time. <laughs> okay. I just finished reading Saint like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes ago and I'm very conflicted over this book because on the one sense like I loved it and I resonated with it but on the other hand it was too long. Elijah who is Aiden's love interest kind of frustrated me at times and it was just overall like not as satisfying in the end as Priest and Sinner were. So I think that out of the three novels in this series, not including Midnight Mass. I'm gonna say that Saint is my least favorite, but take that with a grain of salt because I still gave this book 4.5 stars. I, again, love this world that Sierra Simone has built. I love these characters. They're all so deep and raw and real and they're relatable and I love them. But there was just something about this book and a part of it could have been the fact that it was way longer than the other books in the series, but I wasn't always super invested. I felt like there were a lot more, like, I don't know, descriptions that maybe weren't always necessary in the book. And again, Elijah, I think that he spoke a lot before he thought about what he was saying, and that caused a lot of guilt on Aiden's end, and that made my heart hurt for him. So, whew, I did it. I finished the book. I finished the series. Aiden is amazing. He is, I love him. All the brothers are amazing and they all go through so much personal growth in these books and I just can't help but love all of them for their differences and oh, I love them. I love them so much. Now that I finished Saint, I'm officially done with the January picks for the Mending Hearts book club which is very exciting. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed each of these books that we read this month. I loved Priest the first time I read it. I loved it the second time. I really, really loved Sinner and Saint as well. And I'm so glad that Stasia was okay with us picking these, or me picking these, I think, for our first month's picks. Because just, they're such beautiful stories. And I love it. These are definitely probably what a lot of people would consider unconventional romances, but I love them. I think Sierra Simone did a fabulous job with this series. And, whew! So good. Here are what all the tabs look like. Oh yeah. <laughs> In these books, I think they look so good together. I use the same color palette for all of them. So stunning, just stunning. We love to see it. These brothers will have a place in my heart forever. Uh, Tyler Bell is definitely a book boyfriend. Sean Bell, a book boyfriend. Aiden Bell, my heart just hurts for him. Another book boyfriend and I love him. I love all of them. I love it. I love the series. I love these books. If I were to go ahead and rate these four books, including the novella, from my least favorite to my favorites, I think my least favorite would be Midnight Mass, which I still gave 
four stars or 3.5 stars. I don't remember. Maybe I gave it 4.5 stars. I don't know. But I gave it four-ish stars, I believe. And then it would be Saint, which I gave 4.5 stars. And then my next favorite is Priest, which I gave five stars. But topping Priest is definitely Sinner, which also got five stars from me. But it's definitely just, it blew me out of the water. It got me the most emotional, I think. I didn't cry in Saint like I thought I would, but Sinner definitely takes the cake with the emotions. So this is definitely my favorite one out of the series. I love Sean and Zenny, but again, all of these books are beautiful. They're so well done. And I want to say that I would recommend them, but they're also tough reads at times. I'll have all the trigger warnings down below, but between all of these books, we have sexual assault in the past with one of their family members. There's cancer and death and grief and suicidal ideation and depression. There are some very tough topics in these books. So they're definitely not easy reads, but um, I'll have a full list down below of the content warnings, but I still, I don't know, I found so much joy in them at the same time. That wraps up the very first reading vlog that I have for the Mending Hearts book club, which is the book club that Stasia and I co-host. I'm so excited to start February's vlog soon because it is January 23rd, I believe. So excited for our February pick. In case you do not follow us or our Discord, I'll have that in the description down below, but we will be reading. Let me go grab the book. That way y'all can get a little preview of what we are reading next month. Dun, 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 dun. We are going to be reading Happenstance by Tessa Bailey. This is our February pick. It's not super long. It's less than 300 pages. It is Tessa Bailey's first reverse harem romance though, so I have very high hopes for it. Can't wait. So I will be having another vlog with this book come out sometime in February, if not early March, just depending on when I get to the book. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be so much fun. I am so excited for this book. Anyway, that is all that I have for this reading vlog. Love these books. Would love to recommend them to people. If you've read these ones, let me know in the comments down below how you felt about them. I would love to hear your thoughts and have some discussions about these books, just like we will be doing in our book club Discord. Again, if you've read these books already or you haven't and want to join us, it's not too late. You can read these books after January is over and still share all your thoughts. That is totally okay. And you can join us for February's pick which is going to be Happenstance by Tessa Bailey. That is all that I have for this video for real. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.